Hey guys, I played the new System Shock remake for about an hour and wanted to give you guys my first impressions and help you decide if this is a game that's right for you. Now before we begin, I'm not going to give any spoilers even though I've only played for about an hour, and all the gameplay shown will be from my first hour of playing through the game. Now to give you my experience with the System Shock series, it's not like I've played both of the games before and it's a classic that I love and now I get to re-experience it again. I tried to get into the series with System Shock 2, and even though the premise sound really interesting, the visuals and the controls just felt a bit too outdated that I couldn't really get into it, and so I ended up falling off of it after about four hours. However, a remake of the original game sounded like the perfect opportunity to give the series another shot. A playable demo was released in February of 2021, and I really enjoyed it. And no, I didn't misspeak. A playable demo was released in February of 2021 over two years before the release of the full remake. The release date of the remake kept getting delayed, and every few months I would check in to see if it's been updated. Now I eventually gave up on checking it, because I think it said the release date on the Steam page was going to be Q4 of 2022, and it was February of 2023. So it seemed like it wasn't going to happen, and I just decided to f give up. So you can imagine my surprise when the release date was updated to May 30th, and I only found out on May 30th, the day it came out. Now I normally don't buy games right when they come out, even if the reviews are good, just because I'm not really in a rush to get the latest game. I mean, Persona 4 Golden's already lasted me a whole year. Now I don't really buy video games right when they come out anymore, after a lot of games being disappointing on release, or even if they are good, having really bad optimization day one. But having waited so long for the game to come out, and it launching at $40, you can actually get the game for $34 at Fanatical. Hashtag not sponsored. I decided to go for it. Now, I was definitely aware of how good the game would be after so many delays, especially because we just had the multi-delayed release of the Lord of the Rings Gollum. But this one actually worked well, even on day one. The game runs really smoothly on my PC, which you would kind of hope for, since the game has that retro aesthetic that looks good, but is also pretty minimal and has a pixelated look to it. But I haven't experienced a single bug while playing it, except that after I turned subtitles off, it took about a minute for them to actually stop appearing on the screen. Now before I speak on the game overall, the f timing is kind of funny that earlier today I saw a post in R Gaming saying that new game releases don't need to add new systems and mechanics to stand out, they just need to have the basics really well executed. Because that's kind of what I've been thinking as I've been playing through this game. I'm sure it's revolutionary for 1994, but by today's standards, the mechanics and the gameplay feel a little bit outdated, but they still feel good. But in today's gaming landscape of too many games trying to do too much and delivering on too little, it felt kind of refreshing to have a game that felt a bit more simpler and smaller scale, but feels good to play. Having to explore to find colored keycards to unlock doors that are almost square shaped is so old school, but it feels kind of refreshing in this game. The combat doesn't feel super complex so far, and at times it kind of feels like throwing a punch in a dream when you're not sure you're, if your metal pipe's going to connect or not. But I know the combat gets more complex as you go through the game as they add new enemies and new weapons for you to use against them. For now, I'm enjoying the simplicity of swinging a metal pipe at a mutant, but I definitely won't want the whole game to be like this. It's pretty rudimentary, but sneaking up on an unsuspecting mutant and knocking them out cold with one swing of a metal pipe still feels satisfying. Now a lot of the time the soundtrack is just background ambient noise, but when it does kick in and you can hear it, it's really good. Definitely has a synthwave feel to it, but really fits the neon futuristic style of the game. When you first start the game, I would recommend that you check all the key bindings, just so you know all the tools that you have available, because I didn't know that you could sprint until I saw that you could, and one of the most important controls is at the very bottom. Trust me, you're going to want to be quick saving because the game doesn't auto save for you. The first time I died, it sent me back about 30 minutes. I wasn't too upset about it because the knowledge I gained playing it through it the first time meant that I could get through it again a lot faster and with taking a lot less damage, but it's still an inconvenience. Now in terms of difficulty, the game actually lets you choose the difficulty for different aspects of the game, such as combat, Shodan's awareness of you, the hacking minigame difficulty, and how difficult the puzzles are. I've been playing the game with all the difficulties set to 2, and while I'm not sure how much of a difference you can notice between the mission difficulty being set to 3 instead of 2, I feel like this has been a pretty good balance so far. So if Bioshock on a space station sounds appealing to you, I think this remake is a great opportunity to experience an old classic with modern convenience. But either way, I hope this video helped you understand how the game works and if it's a good fit for you. If you'd like to see more of me, you can watch me every day playing Persona 4 Golden in real time. Otherwise, I occasionally make videos such as trying out new MMOs in 2023, or just checking out new Game Pass releases or wherever I feel like playing at the time. Feel free to subscribe. But that's going to wrap it up for this video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.